Now, people are back to work today after the five day Chuseok holiday weekend, but lawmakers are still trying to work through their differences over a bill to investigate April's ferry accident. Pressure from the public to come to an agreement is growing. Our Che Yusun has this report. Korea's ruling and opposition parties returned from the five day Chuseok holiday, having listened to the people in regards to the current political standoff over the contested bill to probe April's ferry disaster. But it seems they only listened to what they wanted to hear. With no sign of a compromise, the ruling side continues to urge the opposition to cooperate in swiftly passing a number of economic and reform related bills. Each standing committee must immediately deliberate on the bills that concern the people's livelihood. The parliament must immediately pass the non-controversial bills pending at the assembly. Referring to public anger over the political paralysis, party leader Kim Musong called on the ruling and opposition floor leaders to reach a deal on the bill by the weekend. He then urged the parliamentary speaker to exercise his authority to call a session next Monday to vote on other pending bills with or without the opposition. The opposition, for its part, continues to pressure the ruling side to return to talks about giving the ferry victims' families more of a say in the accident investigation. If the ruling party wants to restore public trust, it should first show a forward-looking position on passing the livelihood-related bills, including the Seoro ferry bill. While the parliamentary speaker has no plans to invoke his authority at the risk of further lengthening the impasse, he's been in contact with the two parties to seek a solution to the crisis. With both parties unable to stand further public criticism, it's thought the two floor leaders will meet as early as Thursday to try iron out their differences. Choi Yusun, Arirang News.